A very warm greetings to the students of Assam Tamsang University. Today's uh, topic of lecture is introducing positive psychology. So what is positive psychology? It is the study of human flourishing. And when we apply positive psychology, we assume that our thoughts, feelings, and actions provides us with the greatest value in our lives. So positive psychology is a movement that was being introduced by a researcher known as Martin Seligman. So what was this movement about? This movement had some major elements. First, it focused upon well-being, positivity on positive events and influences. It also sought to study upon the positive experiences such as joy, love, inspiration, as well as positive traits such as gratitude, as well as compassion. Discussions also started revolving around topics such as strengths and weaknesses, life satisfaction, self-esteem, well-being, gratitude, compassion, hope, and optimism. Now, I would like to stop you for a moment here and ask you to reflect back on all of the semesters that you have studied psychology in. The very first thing when we are asked as to why we want to study psychology, the first thing that really pops up in our mind is, I want to treat people. Is there something that has to be corrected with people? Or there has to be something, uh, a recovery that has to be made with the people? Yes, I do agree that People need to recover and we psychologists do play a huge role in doing that. However, what positive psychology also brings in is that why are we only focusing on the unhealthy uh, features of the human life such as disorders? So poor mental health. What about a positive mental health? Why do we not talk about that? Why don't we talk about creativity of the human beings? So that is why positive psychology, it sought to understand these topics, how these small factors really lead to a big impact in a person's life. If you look at all of these uh, you know, um, indexes such as life satisfaction, we need to have satisfaction in our lives in order to have a good mental health mental health and well-being do you agree even we need to have satisfaction say in our jobs without any kind of satisfaction we would not be able to perform the job with full efficacy or we will not be able to give a huge uh, profit to the organization that we're working in Self-esteem is also linked to our mental health. So how can we develop our self-esteem is also some of the important criteria that we must focus upon as psychology students. And that is what we are going to cover in this course. I welcome you all to this course. I hope we have a lot of fun in uh, learning this course. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next class.